Hallelujah. Beloved in Christ, what another opportunity, another day, the owner of life has given to us around the whole globe. And the power of the Holy Spirit has waked us all up from every continent, and we are still alive. What a privileged father. What a good father, our Lord Jesus Christ. He cared for his children. So beloved, when he does this for us, it is your duty and my duty to honor him in prayer. So wherever you are, may we all bow our head and pray to our Lord, our Savior. Hallelujah. Immortal, everlasting God, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, everlasting old Father, you are so wonderful. You are so good. We give you all your glory and honor for another day like this. Only your mercy has done this. Thank you, covenanted God. Thank you, immortal. Thank you, our Lord, our Savior. May your name be adored forever and forever. Unto thee, O Lord. Your word is settled in Jesus Christ, your mighty name. I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, may the almighty Jehovah bless us all. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, for giving us a day to come before him to enjoy. Oh, we thank him. And beloved, I greet you by his mercy and his love for another day that we are still here under his umbrella. So viewers of Prophet Kennedy, keep on watching and to hear the mercy from our Lord. Hallelujah. Today, the message, the title is, is from our Lord. The word from our Lord saying, ask, seeking, and knock. And we will take the gospel from Luke 11, and the verses are, Five to thirteen. Let us hear his way. This is by him himself, the owner of life. So, beloved, let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah unto his name. Luke eleven five says, and he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend? And go unto him at midnight and say unto him, Friend, lend me three loaves. Verse 6. For a friend of mine in his journey has come to me, and I have nothing to set before him. Verse 7. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not. The door is shut. And my children and me in bed, I cannot rise and give thee. Verse 8. I say unto you that he will not rise and give him because he is a friend. Yet, because of import, because of important, he will rise and give him many as he need. Nine, and I say unto you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and she shall open unto you. Verse 11, for everyone that asks receive, and he that seek, find, and to him that knock shall be opened. Verse 11, a son shall ask a bread of any of, that is, a father, 
and shall give him a stone. Or if he asks a fish, he will give him a, a serpent. Verse 12. Or he will ask a, an egg. Will he offer him scorpion and the last verse? If then, being evil, know how to give good gift unto children, how much more shall your heavenly father give the Holy Spirit unto them that ask? This, this is Christ telling us, we evil give good things to our children. Beloved, the Holy Spirit is here to teach us. So let us go back. Verse 5 says, He said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend and shall go to him at night? Beloved, it is only our Lord Jesus Christ. We can go to him anytime as children of the Most High. So he is telling us, A friend will deny you. A friend, when he has it, he will be a pretender. Only our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who knows from us. That's why he said, I stand at the door. Whoever opens me, I, the Lord, will come in and dine with you. So, beloved, he is an awesome, awesome, awesome master, Jesus, the owner of life. He alone, we can go anytime. When we sin, and we confess our sin, we can go back to him and tell him, Daddy, I am sorry. I have sinned. I have wronged you. And I will not do that again. So that we amend our ways with him. And then he will take us back. So, beloved, he is asking us in verse 5. It, it's a friend. A friend can deny you. But I, the Lord, I will not deny you. Hallelujah. And let us see it. Verse 6. A friend of mine has come from a journey. And I have nothing to say for my friend. He is warning us. Don't depend upon a, a human being. Don't depend upon a friend. Don't depend upon anybody. Depend upon me. The friend went to another friend, but there, there was a denier. He denied him. He, he said, I and my children are in bed. I cannot arise and attend unto you. But the Lord said, I, the Lord, come unto me. I care. I form you. So, beloved, he is a good father. Let us depend upon him. And then let us hear. We keep on. Verse 7 say, And from within shall answer. He will deny you. Because a friend is a friend. He is a pretender. He said he loves you. He is your friend. But within, within the heart, he doesn't love you. But Christ is only that loves us. Whoever we are, when we amend our ways and go to him, he will forgive us. So far as we don't do it again, so he is warning us. Beloved, let us go to the last verse. Verse 13 is for every person who have accepted Christ. He said, if then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall the heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit unto them that ask? That's why he said, ask, seek, and knock. I, the Lord, will open you. So far as we have accepted him, the Holy Spirit will come upon us 
So we need the Holy Spirit. It is a duty to seek the Holy Spirit, the baptism of the Holy Spirit, as the Holy Spirit will guide us. The moment we accept Christ, he will come and abide in us. And we need the baptism so that he will fill us because we need him in our daily basis, our going out, our coming in. It is the Holy Spirit that can guide us in our daily basis. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. He is the greatest teacher to teach us the word of God. We need to understand the word of God, the mystery of the word of God. It is the Holy Spirit that can teach us the word of God. He will protect us and guide us and daily, we need a protection because he will guide us from the evil one. As the devil is roaming about, seeking whom he can devour. But when the Holy Spirit is in us and we are filled with the Holy Spirit, who can, how can the devil come? So, beloved, we need the baptism of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our guide and protector for our children also, because we have to pray for our children and our family. The Holy Spirit will give us the utterance to pray eagerly, because the Bible says, pray without ceasing. We need to pray, and he will guide us. He will give us the utterance to pray fervently. Hallelujah. We need the Holy Spirit. It is a friend who will talk to your spirit in a daily basis. He alone is here with us. As Christ said, I am living and I will send you the comforter. So Spirit of God, we need you. Thank you for everything. And without you, we cannot make it. And with you, we can make it. So beloved, we need the Holy Spirit, the comforter. That's why Christ is telling us in Luke 11, 13, that when you ask, the Father will give it to you. So, beloved, we need a baptism. Today is another day. If you have not accepted Christ, what are you waiting for? Tomorrow will be too late. So today, turn around. Accept Christ. Come on to him. He is knocking at your door. He will open you. Hallelujah to our maker. Hallelujah to our savior. Thank you, covenanted God. So beloved, he said we have to ask. We have to seek. And we have to know he will open us. So those who have not accepted Christ, this is the moment. Turn around. Come to the owner of life. He knows us all. He formed us. So, beloved, let us do the right thing. Let us serve our maker. That's all we have. We came here to serve him. And the comforter is here, which is the Holy Spirit. May his will shall be done over our life. Thank you, thank you, thank you, covenanted God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, merciful God. Spirit of the living God, we thank you so much for waking us up and giving us the way that has come. May you help us in our daily basis, we and our children. Keep on teaching us. We want to know you more and more as a good friend. May the will of our Lord Jesus Christ be upon us. 
Spirit of the living God, may you bless your end time prophet and also the wife, the children, and the viewers that avail themselves in a daily basis. Keep on helping us. And we thank you, a good friend. We thank you, our comforter. We thank you, our guide. Only the mercy of God has done this for us. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. May your will, our Lord Jesus Christ, shall be done over us. In Jesus, your name, your word has come forth. Amen.